What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including a WWE star suspended, the truth behind Money in the Bank botch, did anybody know that Cena was going to retire backstage, a new champion crowned at Heatwave, a huge spoiler for tonight, did AEW tease Ricochet's debut, is Rikishi going to become the new wise man for Bloodline 2.0 and much more? Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at a WWE star suspended. Drew McIntyre is dealing with dire consequences following an attack on Raw General Manager Adam Pearce. McIntyre went berserk after CM Punk attacked him during Drew's Money in the Bank cash-in, costing McIntyre a possible win. After Money in the Bank went off the air, McIntyre headed to the pre-show area, taking his frustrations out on the set. Drew then threw around referees who tried to stop him and Drew elbowed Adam Pearce when Pearce tried to physically restrain him. Eventually, the former WWE superstar turned announcer Wade Barrett stepped in, keeping things from deteriorating any further. A scrap daddy Pierce posted a video on X announcing that both Drew McIntyre and CM Punk have been fined an undisclosed amount for their actions at Money in the Bank. In addition, Pierce announced McIntyre is suspended indefinitely and there will be more details on tonight's Raw. McIntyre responded to his suspension by tweeting, If you were doing your job properly, you wouldn't have been caught in the crossfire, you incompetent bald bitch. Please never change, Drew. Next up, the truth behind the Money in the Bank botch. A Saturday's Money in the Bank match between Seth Rollins and World Heavyweight Champion Damian Priest nearly ended in disaster due to a flood finish. According to Fightful Select, those that Fightful Select spoke to claimed that Priest was supposed to kick out based on the chatter after the show, including Triple H addressing as much on the post-show. Priest was said to have been fined in the immediate aftermath. As for Zapata, him actually counting the three would have resulted in the title switching to Seth Rollins. Because of that, the Drew McIntyre cash-in would have been a one-on-one -on -one match, and the no-DQ rules would have not applied and Punk's attack would not have been deemed illegal. Rollins' stipulation of not challenging for the title would have been invalid and WWE would have been put in a corner where Priest was no longer in Judgment Day per the rules of the match. A Fightful also spoke on what happened backstage and the reaction to the botch and whether this was really a production botch. In all, one WWE backstage source said it was an unfortunate situation, but those don't usually happen with Damian Priest and he was probably more bothered about it than anyone. Considering how much he gives of himself, it would have been silly for anyone to hold that against him. It's just a shit happens situation. Some assume that Drew McIntyre's music was also supposed to interrupt the count. Nobody would confirm or deny that to us, but one producer said that it wasn't the vibe that they got based on Triple H's comments. The same producer said that the music shouldn't have stopped a pinfall count anyway. WrestleVotes also managed to give information on whether there was any heat on the referee. WrestleVotes tweeted, I'm told there's no real heat on referee Rod Zapata following the mishap on Saturday night during the World Championship match. A source said, in years past, absolutely. A Fightful Selection Ross Sapp also reported that referee Ron Zapata also officiated WrestleMania 35's triple threat between Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. You may recall the match also ended in controversy when Zapata made a three count despite Rousey getting a shoulder up. According to Sapp, Zapata was fined for the error. It's kinda crazy that a three count would have thrown the WWE's plans into disarray as McIntyre's cash-in would have led to a regular one-on-one -on -one match against Rollins, Priest would have been forced to leave the Judgment Day and Punk wouldn't have been able to blast Drew with the world title belt without risking disqualification, although he could have done so with behind the referee's back. Obviously, the WWE wasn't going to let a blunder cause such a change in plans, but it does raise the question whether the WWE needs to work closer with officials and wrestlers to avoid this situation. After all, it wasn't long ago that referee error led to Gunther getting a three count on Randy Orton in the King of the Ring finals when Orton's shoulder was up. Next up, a new champion crowned at Heatwave. A wild finish at NXT Heatwave has resulted in a new champion on the black and gold brand. Sunday's PLE featured some sizzling matches including a fatal four-way for the NXT Championship between champ Trick Williams and challengers Ethan Page, Javon Evans and Sean Spears. The furious fatal four-way ended with a shocking finish after the champion hit the trick shot to Page only for Page to fall onto a KO'd Evans. Williams was then pulled out of the ring by Spears preventing him from stopping the pin resulting in a new champion. A long time fans noticed that ending was a homage to 2007's Backlash Fatal 4A for the WWE Championship, where Shawn Michaels superkicked John Cena, sending a KO'd Cena onto Randy Orton for the three count. In Cena's case, he retained the title belt, but here it led to a shocking title change. And now fans will have to wonder whether this fluke win will pan out. Will Paige drop the title quickly, or will he prove a worthy champion despite the bizarre circumstances surrounding his win? 
it's kind of crazy that this has only been his fourth match on NXT and he's already champion. Next up, a huge spoiler for tonight's Raw. Now, if you don't want to be spoiled for tonight's Raw, be sure to move on to the next news story in the description. Now, according to WRKD Wrestling, they tweeted that you can expect a Rhea Ripley return on Raw tonight. Now, even though Ripley was injured, we would have assumed that she wouldn't show up until SummerSlam, but maybe plans have changed. She may not be in a wrestling role tonight, but she may show up to confront Liv Morgan. Next up, WWE teased the return of Joe Hendry. NXT Heatwave ended with a last minute surprise as a brief, and we really mean brief, clip of Joe Hendry aired during the last seconds of the show, leading to some fans wondering when the popular TNA wrestler is returning to NXT. Fightful Select is reporting that Corey Brennan has been told by multiple sources in NXT that there are plans to use Hendry heavily as part of the NXT and TNA crossover in the coming weeks and months. Brennan is reporting that the WWE wants to capitalize on the Scottish native's talent for going viral. Hendry was working in Glasgow and was unable to appear live in Toronto, but his cameo already has fans buzzing about his next appearance. The WWE is watching Hendry closely and reportedly is interested in signing him when his TNA deal expires. Next up, did WWE superstars know about John Cena's big announcement? And while Cena's presence at Money in the Bank was known ahead of time, his retirement announcement shocked fans and apparently took some superstars by surprise. Fightful Select is reporting that WWE superstars had no idea about the announcement until they saw Cena's merchandise that read, The Last Time Is Now. The report added that very few WWE personnel knew about the announcement and those who did weren't talking. Next up, plenty of questions about John Cena's 2025 retirement tour. What exactly will John Cena's retirement tour feature as the 16-time champion bids farewell to the WWE Universe? Some interesting questions are being asked, including just how many matches Cena will wrestle and whether he'll work any of the WWE's international PLEs. As Cena responded to a tweet saying, Grateful beyond words, 2025 will be full of incredible events around the world. Very much hoping Australia is on the list. Another question is whether Cena's retirement means an end to WWE appearances. While he seems ready to give Hollywood the majority of his attention after he hangs up his boots, rumor has it that WWE officials believe he'll still appear on special occasions, although wrestling seems to be out of the question. As we discussed in our recent video, Cena's meticulously planned schedule suggests he's closing one chapter of in-ring competition to focus on the next chapter in his life, full-time acting. Naturally, wrestlers are already throwing down the gauntlet at Cena, hoping for one last match against him. While Cena's 2025 schedule is still hazy, no one knows how many matches he'll be competing in, which could mean very limited opportunities. Next up, a big bout booked for Raw. It looks like WWE is going all in on the wildly popular storyline involving Liv Morgan's apparent lust for Dirty Dom. They've done this by booking him into a mixed tag match against Latina World Order's Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega. This follows last week's one-on-one -on -one match between Liv and Zelina, as well as Rey going against his wayward son. Fans will no doubt be tuning in to see how well Dominic and Liv Morgan gel as a team and whether this leads to the two coming closer together. Next up, did AEW tease Ricochet's debut? Is Ricochet headed to AEW? While the smart money says his debut is just a matter of time, nothing official has been announced. However, a recent hype video may be hinting that the future of flight is about to become all elite. A video aired on Collision showing the text hologram, followed by a person jumping into a digital tunnel. A mass figure appears briefly before the video ends with coming soon. Some fans think this is a hint of Ricochet, but inside the ropes, John Duffy mentioned that some fans pointed out that the masked man doesn't bear any resemblance to him and looks like more of a fellow Lucha Underground star Aero star. What do you guys think? Is Ricochet coming? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, an AEW star injured at Collision. AEW star Rhea won't be working her planned program with fellow AEW grappler Serena Deeb as she joined the lengthy list of injured wrestlers. The talented Japanese star recently battled Lady Frost on Collision only to sustain an injury during the bout. She posted on Instagram that she fractured her arm but told fans she's doing very well. There's no word on how long she'll be out, but this is unfortunate for AEW as she's one of their better female talents. We wish Rio a fast and full recovery. And finally, is Rikishi going to become the new wise man? And last but not least, could WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi replace Paul Heyman as a Bloodlines wise man? While that could make for some great television, Rikishi informed fans on his podcast that it may not happen. The man who made the stink face famous explained, People ask me would I be interested in returning as a wise man. Yeah, I guess. It makes sense. Is the scheduling going to be a problem? Because I don't want to hit the road and that would probably be the only reason why I would probably decline. There's so much to my life now than pro wrestling. My time is now. The second part of my life is to spend time to visit my kids and my grandkids. And it's nice when I show up to the boys' homes. Would you guys want to see Rikishi as the new wise man? Let us know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.